I'm Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw Carlsbad Caverns in New Mexico. I start way down here on the bottom towards the left and I put a dot. And from that dot I'm going to start drawing a wavy line up, out, up, over, down, keep going, and leave it floating. What we're doing is we're building our cavern of limestone underground caves. Now I come back down here to the bottom and I'm going to repeat some of these lines. Now this is what's good. This is a wavy line up, over, leave it floating. Come back on this side towards the right, wavy line out, leave it floating, wavy line down, leave it floating, wavy line out, leave it floating, and come all the way up to the top, wavy line, and leave it floating. This is Mother Nature, so you're not going to have anything that is very straight or angular, which is great if you don't think that you can do this because it doesn't matter really what lines you draw. Here's a wavy line up, and leave it floating. Right next to it, wavy line up. Let's make a V, wavy line up, and leave it floating. So this is the exterior part of our cavern. I'm going to put another wavy line up and leave it floating. Now we're going to do the interior of the cavern, and that is made up of stalactites, I'm probably saying it wrong, and stalagmites. The ones that come from the top are wavy line down, wavy line up, connect. And what they are are limestone rain deposits that have been forming inside this cavern or this cave for millions of years and are now forming, they look like icicles, stalactites on top. So the water drains in this way and it puts a little dot and from that dot it grows into these, they look like icicles, from the top all the way down, wavy line up, down, and again, it's Mother Nature so yours is going to look different than somebody else's and that's okay. We're going to bring a little one in floating and leave it up. Now we just draw a curve line, curve line, curve line, curve line. Because now we're going to fill in the bottom with stalagmites. Yes. And those are the ones that form going up. And they're like icicles. So we do this first row on the top. We do the bottom row on the bottom. Come in and jump over and do some like this in the center. Okay. All the way over. All the way up, down. Don't draw through your lines. You can add some more curve lines, curve lines. Okay. This is your initial drawing. Now, in order to really make it look like the caves in uh, Carlsbad, you fill in between each one with another wavy line down, up, wavy line down, up, wavy line down, up, wavy line down, up, because they're clustered. All of these stalactites and stalactites are clustered on the interior space of the cavern. And you go, wow, that's really crowded. Guess what? That's the way it is. So those are the ones that are going down. Now come back down and let's do more stalagmites going up. These might be a little bit more difficult to draw because you're jumping over lines that you have already done. 
and that's okay because if you Google this and look at the pictures you'll say whoa that is a lot of activity in this cavern and that's what was so surprising when the caverns were first discovered people couldn't believe how beautiful all of those rock formations were now on this middle part we're gonna leave it alone because now we're going to color okay let's see how we are gonna color this in okay you look at this and you go oh how am I gonna do this it's very simple you start off with a gray crayon and wherever you have a black line you put a gray crayon line and that is so you actually are following what lines you drew for the ex exterior part of your cavern and the interior part of your cavern and you're just going to put a little bit of gray here and there on your uppers, stalagmites, and your lowers. And for once, you don't have to color in the lines. It looks better if you don't. So we're just going to put a little bit of gray. We're going to end up with a lot of colors. A little bit of gray wherever you see those black lines that you already drew. And that's good because then that helps you keep yourself straight on what color goes where. Next, if you have multicultural crayons, this is like peach or apricot. Again, I'm just going to come in, fill in the inside interior with another color. And I'm going to come out and do my outside lines next to the gray. You can go over the colors. That's okay. And this fills in the space that you've already drawn with your black line, which serves as your guide. Your gray line is your first part of color. And now you're filling it in again with another light color. You can always make something darker but it's hard to take away something black okay so go ahead and fill in if you have this color if you don't no problem and I'm gonna put a little bit of color on the inside interior okay next regular brown now for my brown I'm gonna lightly loop-de-loop the exterior space of my drawing. And that represents that outer cavern rock formations that you come upon. And then very lightly, hardly at all, I'm just going to put some brown in between my stalagmites, which are going from below up to a little bit of brown on my stalag tights coming down from the top. Last section, regular old blue. On the inside, inside part, I'm just going to add a little bit of blue on the top and a little bit of blue on the bottom. So really, this is an excellent scribble-scrabble coloring drawing project. And it looks so great. All right, let's see what this looks like all colored in. Okay, here are my drawing of my limestone caves at Carlsbad Caverns, New Mexico really wonderful beautiful and it's now a national park okay bye bye